Grand Rising on the 23rd of October, 2024. I had some things on my mind. Sandra, since you were trying to consume my energy and your quote-unquote husband is a reverend, let me see if I can put this puzzle together or somewhat. Are you going to the courts acting like me with Kenny? Or could it be, unfortunately, my daughter? Or could it just be this imposter who had had plastic surgery to look like me? Hmm. Interesting. Then, I would like to know how and why Miss Pam Bondi Mercer, why is it that you and your husband showing so much hate? Why? Do you live in the town in which I live? Or what's going on? Are you just got that kind of clout where you just tell people what to do so they can fall to their demise like you have? I'm just still waiting for the upright judicial people who know the law, abide by it, have character and principle, and perhaps I want to hope that the other one, Attorney General, Madam Ashley Moody, you're not acting like Pam Bondi. So if you're not, forgive me for the past episode, but if you already don't, forgive me, I meant what I said. Anyway, and the federal judge on the case here, looking into all this mess, messy, mess, 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 acting like y'all can't see the truth because you follow me every day. It's a whole bunch of people following me every day, taking my picture everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like you don't know who the fucking criminals are because they will have to keep up with the crimes that they have committed in order to keep their money flowing. So if you don't see this real empress doing it why are you still watching me and not apprehending bringing to the courts where we can hopefully find some balance you know like your symbol justice balance because this is definitely off course off balance when you have someone who think that they are the fucking law and they don't have you go to the court but they want to sit up here and harass you taunt you follow you try to unalive you as if okay so you have already brought me to a homeless state right So what what else is it to do? What else is it to do? Or what else would you not do if it had not been for hidden helpers? What are you not stopping at? The world needs to know that we have some corruptors that sit in high places that need... To go have a psychological evaluation because something is terribly wrong when you can sit on TV, sit so dainty as if you have dignity when you are a whole monster. If they, you know, maybe that reptilian uh, skin ain't peeled back yet. It's going to peel back one day on TV as you speak. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what I do not understand is, like in the town that I'm in, I don't know if it's the good one or the bad one, Mm. 
that if somebody with a badge that's always following, is that your little puppy, Pam, Bonnie, former attorney general? Is that one of your little puppets? Why do you have them follow, following down a spiral that you have already fallen into a pit? When I came to you about my son, when I initially uh, came to you about something is going on with my son's case, I'm not getting what I need from Coco Police Department, you in turn send back correspondence for me to go back to um, the police department and the state's attorney and all of them are in cahoots as you are how much did you get paid as you looking in my finances can I look in your finances too because you can see ain't shit in my finances because you took it so let's look in your finances. Does your paycheck with your job position, does your pay in your bank accounts, your assets, does it all add up? Do we need a forensic accountant to look into all of y'all stuff? Like you doing a fine tooth comb, looking at me, trying to find something, but you can't find nothing because I'm not who you say that I am. I'm not a criminal. See, that's why you can't find anything. But yet you want me to stay in this poverty state, but yet the most high, like he provide fresh manna for the birds, the fish, the wild animals in the wild, he provides for me too. Because he see the corrupt, the corrupters trying to interfere with my human civil rights. So, you know what I say. I mean, if all people look at it like this, and I don't mean any disrespect in no way, shape, or form, but we are all human beings, right? Some of us are sit in royalty, and some of us sit in that seat, and we are not royal. We are whole monsters. Lord, when you change my situation, let me be humble and remain royal and have some principle with my character and always walk in integrity and be dignified in how I carry myself and my decisions that I make for myself, that it is for my highest good and it will not affect the higher good of all in the community in which I live, or societal, for that matter. Um, yeah, I know I had a social security call, um, and it got interrupted. Uh, I don't know. I think someone hung it up because my phone is manipulated. Because, again, they lied in court saying, I'm this, I'm that, I'm incompetent, I can't speak for myself. That's why my videos are shadow banned. Only a few of you get to see it. Or maybe that's the belief, because I haven't got paid a dime from YouTube as of yet. I'm still very much uh, living paycheck to paycheck in poverty. But because the grace of the most high it doesn't appear like that because you know people want to see me all in shambles like some people have succumbed when they're homeless they look all disheveled that's how this family wants me to look but by the grace and mercy of the most high and my ancestors and my archangels no that's how you all are going to look even when you have money in your bank account return that shit back to your ass because that's not who I am. This is not where I'm supposed to be. It was only temporarily, and it still is that way, for me to unmask, peel back the onion. There was somebody talking about that before. I think it was the Honorable uh, Louis Farrakhan. There's an onion being peeled back layers. I'm part of that layer that's peeling back 
corruptors in high places trying to shut the mouth up of people who speak the truth truth to power you don't like that huh well then have some dignity have some character have some principle about yourself if you ain't doing nothing shady or fucked up or flawed you wouldn't have not one reason to be upset with what i am saying what others have said and are saying to today's date and again i say what are we voting for because i mean where is the change excuse please where is the change you have immigrants coming over here some of them are being held captive Mm -hmm. some of them don't make it to the good life because you screen them you stop them you screen them to see what they know how they can work as your puppet in this little charade of i'm the master and whatever I tell you to do, that's what you're going to do. And then you can have a good life. That's what your little Ponzi scheme is. And because I don't fall in that caliber, and I will not, by the grace and the mercy of the Most High, because I am, I have my own mind. I don't choose to be corrupt and harm other people as you do to gain riches that ain't going to save you when that sickness riddle your body. I bet you not one dime of that money will save you from the sickness that the most high can inflict on your body because you are a fucking corrupt idiot you know i'm gonna calm down but i just wanted to get my point across bitch now anyway like i said i want to be left alone You were supposed to be checking in on some things like my complaint. What did you find? Did you find yourself involved in the complaint? Were you shocked because I'm supposed to be deceased, like y'all said, so y'all can continue to capitalize on that life insurance policy that I know nothing about, but I know something about it, but I didn't co-sign on that nor would I because I'm not married to you, 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 or any of you. De- Kenny and I got a divorce in December. You did an illegal eviction on me so you can collect all my data, all my evidence that I had against 